What's up guys? I'm Jay Dub and today I'm going to show you my repeater box build. I've had a lot of people asking me about it. I put it on Facebook just to kind of show people an idea and man, I had a ton of you guys asking me, Hey, I want to know this. I want to see more about it. So I'll throw links down below. There'll be a link to my Amazon store. There'll be a section on that box. that will probably say, you know, box repeater build, and it'll have everything that I can find on Amazon to put in there. I think the only thing I'm not going to be able to find is the LMR 240 cables. I had to get those off eBay, but they're super simple to find. If I can find them on eBay for you, I'll just throw a link down there to where uh, you can pick those up, but go ahead. I'll let y'all look at this box build. I got the camera set up for it. It is shot on the GoPro because I didn't have a lot of room. So I hope you guys are okay with that. But let me show you this thing. Let me start over here. This is our MXR 10 repeater. It's been a great little setup. I've had it on a few internet uh, or a few Zello nets. It works great. No issues. You're going to come down here. You've got your power cord. It plugs into your surge strip. Super simple. Um, right here's your repeater plug in. Then you have this box here, which runs over here to the interface board that my friend builds. So right here, this is a board that he builds. It doesn't come in this box and you don't need to put it in this box. I just put it in here. So when I close it up, I don't have to worry about anything hitting these. These are all exposed circuits. So, you know, take it for what it's worth. This is a dollar pencil box. Super simple. Get these at the Dollar Tree or Walmart for next to nothing. This is a mini PC. Once again, I'll throw it down below. This thing does have a problem, but we're trying to work it out right now with the company. I've got a few emails sent to them. I've been chatting back and forth with them and we're trying to come up with an, a problem to this uh, or an, a fix to this problem. I think it'll be super simple, but I'll tell you more about that in a minute. Uh, like I said, your surge strip, your battery, um, wall wart that goes to your little mini PC. And that's really it. I got some LMR 240. Now I built this with stuff I had laying around. I had this box laying around. I was using, had the PC, wasn't using it for anything. I've got two of these repeaters that I wasn't using because I'm using my other repeater right now. And I've got another site that I want to go ahead and get up and running. So I came up with this design. I was just trying to get rid of some stuff. The only thing I had to buy was this cable because I needed a 90 degree end on it down here. And I didn't have one of those. So I did order one of them. And I've actually got another cable instead of the six foot long DB9 to USB. I've got a one foot DB9 to USB that I'll be switching out to that whenever it shows up. It's been on order now for like a week and it still hadn't shown up. So I don't know if you heard that mother. Okay. For whatever reason we stopped recording, but anyway, so like I was saying, we've got everything in here. Um, a really nice thing about this entire setup is it is 12 volt compatible. The computer's 12 volt. This board is 12 foot. The repeat or 12 foot, 12 volt. The repeater is 12 volt. So you could get away, do away with the surge strip, run 12, put a, uh, I'll put it, I'll put a picture of it right here. It's just a, a little fuse block that has a positive negative bus bar to it. You can put that in here and run two K two leads out of here. Bam. You've got a nice solar setup now that's going to run directly to a battery without an inverter, which is really nice. And actually running on solar would get rid of the issue. Remember I said this computer has a small issue. When this thing loses power, you have to manually come here and push the button to get the computer back on. Now, what's the computer do? The computer is your beacon, your date and time, and your Zello link. So if you want all that to work, you got to have the computer. If you don't want that to work, which according to the FCC, your repeater is supposed to beacon out. If you want it to do that, then you've got to have the internet link. Well, you don't have to have the internet link, but you have to have the computer link. You could do this whole setup minus the Zello and the weather without internet. You could put this box up in the woods on a solar panel in the, on a battery and run an antenna up in the tree and bam, you've got an off grid repeater that is in the middle of nowhere. Now it's not going to have an internet link unless you can get Wi-Fi to it somehow. But if you don't need the internet link, bam, here you go. Perfect little setup. Close the box up and you've got it. Now, this box, in case you're looking for them, 15 by 11. This is a 15 by 11 box and it is the depth right at four inches. So 15 by 11 by four inches. And on this side, our depth is two inches. So, and that gives you plenty of room. There's nothing, it's no, not tight. Everything closes up really good. Um, I would say if you're going to do this, go online and get the LMR 240 that has the 90 already on it. 
and then whatever end you know you're going to poke out of the box this is just a simple bulkhead fitting that i had like i said this box was from an, another project there's a bunch of bulkhead fittings in here you don't need all those i would honestly take this bulkhead fitting and maybe move it over a little bit more just so you know you don't have any interference which this one works pretty good this one i definitely wouldn't have in here but if i take it out i'm gonna have a hole in the box and it's already sealed up i know it doesn't leak so like i said i've had this before um down here i put this in just as a temporary thing i do have a plug coming in but like i said they haven't shown up yet this is going up today i'm putting it up so this is temporary and just to keep mice from you know getting up in it i don't think we're gonna have a mouse issue but it is the middle of winter where i'm at i have been running this at my house it's been outside for about two weeks in the cold with no issues the computer handles it just fine the repeater handles it just fine we've been down to nine degrees for a couple days and then we've been hovering right around that 20 to uh, 20 to 30 mark you know from night to day and it's been doing great no issues now how will it handle the heat in the summer i don't know but if we have a heat issue they do make a board or a controller that you can usb into the computer and it'll sense the temperature of the inside of the box and if the box gets above whatever preset temperature you set it to I was going to cut a hole here and put a fan and cut a hole here and have a fan blowing across, you know, up across the repeater and have a fan on the other side sucking down. I've already got power in the box. Those fans are also 12 volt compatible. And honestly, I think they pull their power off the USB strip. So that could get your airflow into the box and you'd be set. If you're on solar panels, you know, fans running all the time is going to be a little trickier. This computer does have a fan in it, so it'll help keep it cool. But if it's in the direct sunlight, who knows? It might work, it might not. But that's kind of the inside of the repeater build. All these things are just Velcroed in here. You know, just go to Walmart, buy the cheapest. I bought like a, the four by four squares of Velcro and I cut them to whatever I needed. This one is kind of heavy. So I'll put a, a good bit of Velcro on it. This only has two pieces. This has two pieces and this has two pieces. And actually the wall wart down here for this repeater, it was kind of heavy. So I'll put a piece on it too, just so it wouldn't slide around. But set it up and i'm going to put a board on it and where this is going will be outside of a building it'll be you know outside the power wire goes to a power cable that we have that's already outside it'll run up the building which will hook to a mass that's on top of it once again for whatever reason it cut off but like i said this thing will be up in the air the building around us will be about 50 foot and then the antenna going up will on the towards the mass for you now from the ground that'll be about another 50 foot so we'll have you know 45 to 50 foot so 95 to 100 foot above our surrounding areas i think it'll work out great we'll be completely wireless internet to it our zello link will be down below y'all guys can listen to it um you can get on there you can play with it like i said all i ask is that you have an fcc call sign you use your call sign you follow all their rules and regulations but you can get on there and listen um, like I said, the repeater is just now going up, so probably not going to have a lot of activity until people start noticing it. I don't have a lot of ways to tell people that, hey, I put up a repeater other than mygmrs.com. So if they're not on there checking it periodically, they're not going to see it. So once this thing gets out in beacons for about a week, um, like I said, the local or GMRS nationwide is on this. So you'll be able to talk to those guys. So I think it'll eventually start getting some traffic. They just people have to find it first. All right. So I know that I said in there, I would tell you how I had a quick workaround for that power button not working. And this is it. Just a simple battery backup. You can put this thing on a solar charger. This will basically power your entire unit. And then as this battery finally dies, then everything will go down. And you'll have to go out to your local site or your remote site and reset everything. So... That's kind of the only issue I said I have. Like I said, we're working with the company now. I've emailed them. I've talked to them on the phone, and they're trying to figure out if there is a setting for it. And like I've said, every other computer I've got, I've changed it in the BIOS with no issues, but this is the only one I'm having an issue with. So we'll see. If they do, I'll put it down below that we got it working.